In today's video, I would like to talk about AI and how you can take advantage of that to geolocate images. Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Sat from CyberSudo. This is the second video after my YouTube channel got deleted. So make sure to like the video so that other people who are also interested in OSINT get this video suggested in their YouTube account. So in today's video, I would like to talk about how it's possible to use AI to geolocate images. Now, we want to keep in mind that AI does not always give us the right information. So we always have to verify the information that we have got from AI. And in this video, I would like to show you exactly that. The tools that I will be talking about are not completely free, but we can still take advantage of them to get more information about a picture. Let's say that you would like to know where this picture has been uploaded. Now, it's obviously a demonstration of people. And if we looked at this flag, we can see that it's written in multiple languages. And the biggest text of all of them is this one. First of all, I'm going to maximize it like this and open it in a new tab. And now we have a full high resolution version of this picture. So what I always like to have a look at is the place, the text that is written, what's in the background, etc. So I'm going to zoom in and here we can see the word Schwarz by them and then something else that we don't know. And here we can see stop Klima Krise. So what we are going to do is to identify this language because let's assume that you don't understand this language and you would like to know which language this is because this is probably where the picture has been taken from. So to do this, you want to go to Google Translate and then come back to the picture. I, I want you to write this. So it's going to, going to be Schwarz by them. So I'm going to say Schwarz by them. And then it's going to detect that this language is German. So we know that this is a German text. And this picture has been probably taken from Germany. Now the question is where it has been taken. Now there are multiple methods that we can use to identify the location. So we can have a look at the background. We can see here that there is a climate change demonstration. And by looking at the people, we can identify that they're wearing winter clothes, which means that it was in winter. We don't know when, but if I searched on Google for a climate change demonstration and they specified the date to be between like October and March, then I might be able to find the exact same picture or information about this demonstration. One more thing that we can have a look at, which is the places that are in the background or the shops that are in the background. So here we have Anson's and here we have P and C. Let's go to the right side. Here we have a pharmacy and a place called Orsay. In addition to that, here we can see that there is a bus stop station. So what we can do is to zoom in and have a look at the bus station. And, and it seems to be like, Ockenbergstrasse or something like this. The first letters are not visible. So what we can do is go to Google and search for this street and we might be able to find more information. But for now, I just want to focus on the AI tools that you can use. The first website that I would like to show you is called P Carta, and it allows you to add a photo link or upload a photo. So in my case, I'm going to copy the full URL of the picture and then put it in here and then click on search. And the cool thing about this website is that it allows you to specify the location where this picture might be taken. And since we know that this picture is from Germany, then we can specify the country to be Germany. So I'm going to say specify country and here is Germany. So I'm going to click on here and then click right here and then expand this circle a little bit so that Germany is covered and then I'm going to click on search location. So now it's going to search in Germany and all the other countries that are beside Germany. So here it's estimating where this picture has been taken and it's giving us some assumptions and we don't know whether these assumptions are right or not. Now we already know that this was taken in Germany by analyzing the picture but here we can see that it gave us like six or seven suggestions that this is from Belgium and it's actually not from Belgium. So it might be in Frankfurt because these are the two suggestions that were given that are in Germany, but this is still not enough information for us 
to verify and confirm that this picture is from Germany. So we need to use other tools and other techniques to verify this. So the second website that I would like to show you that will help us to identify the location is called GeoSpy and it's one of my favorite websites because it actually analyzes pictures, locations and perform a reverse image search. So for me, I'm going to upload the picture and now it's analyzing this photo and here we can see that this website suggested that this picture has been taken in Hamburg because by looking at the architecture of the buildings and street signs and the presence of the pick and clop store suggests that this is from Hamburg. Now, what we need to do is to confirm this. So what I'm going to do is just to go to Hamburg like this and then search for pick and clop because this was also displayed right here. Here is the logo and here we can see a store called Anson's and we also have to look for a pharmacy and a place called Orsay all in the same street. So let me go to Hamburg and then say Peak and Kloppenberg and then Hamburg and then hit enter. And here we can see that there are four shops that are in Hamburg and most of the times the demonstrations are in the middle of the city, not in a place where nobody can see them. So I'm going to zoom in. And here we can see the shop and it's also on the left side it's not on the right side of the street because the picture has been probably taken right here and peak and Kloppenberg was on the left side of the image so i'm going to click on this little person just to verify the area and we can see that this is a low quality image but we can turn around and we can see here a bus station and a pharmacy and a place called orsay Let's have a look at the left side and here we can see the logo, P and C logo. And this picture has been taken in 2022. And if we look right here, we can see the blue flag of Anson. So let me come back to the image, which is this one. And this is the bus station and this is the pharmacy. Now let's have a look at the name of this bus station. So let me zoom in. And we can see that the street is called Munkeberg Straße, which is the text that were displayed on this sign. So this was only an introduction on how we can leverage AI to find an image location. There are obviously multiple methods and tools that you can use to find the image location without using AI. So if you would like to learn this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and follow me on LinkedIn because I'll be posting daily awesome tips on my LinkedIn account. So make sure to follow me there. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.